Hello and welcome back to the third training workshop on activating the energy of abundance in your environment to attract and manifest all the things you've been working so hard to achieve but you've not been getting the results you hoped for. I'm excited to share this because I've been helping women activate success and abundance in their lives by harmonising and enhancing their environment for many, many years. This is the third video and there has been some incredible feedback. Please do share in my Facebook community, Divine Feminine CEOs. And I'm so excited for you to be making this geomancy and energy work more accessible to everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about quick fixes to bring in more prosperity and abundance into your home. Again, if you haven't listened to the first two videos in this series, I highly recommend that you do so because they're really required viewing if you want to make the energy in your home magnetic to attracting in more abundance, whether that be money or opportunity or love, whatever the abundance is to you. Don't worry, I'll wait right here for you. So go back and watch the first two videos. The links will be in the email that you will have had or they're in my website. To get the backdrop, you really need to watch the other two or this third video will leave you with questions. In the first video, I shared how your environment is like fertile ground in which your seeds, the seeds of your dreams um, grow and that it needs to be fertile ground as no matter how much you put water with your intent and your energy and your positive mindset all that inner work won't bring you the results if that seed of intention isn't in fertile ground it won't bring you the results in your external your reality if your environment is not set up for growth now, I started, um, I also shared with you how energy work had manifested my home, a car, a job, and finally my business, all by working with the energy of abundance all around us. And this is a transformation that you can make too. When I started using geomancy to its full potential, it was when I needed change more than I had ever done in my life. I was driven, I was committed, and I'd been doing so much inner work to heal from my abusive marriage, but still things in my external reality weren't shifting. And that's when I really began applying geomancy to its full potential, and I realised something amazing, that you can work as hard as you want to, so hard that you don't possibly know what else you can do to create more wealth, abundance and opportunity. But actually, it's your environment that decides how much money you're earning and what opportunities are coming your way. Now, that sounds crazy, I know, and possibly a little unbelievable. But I realise that we need a balance of energy to support both our external and our internal environments. So in the last video, we learned that to attract abundance and prosperity, you need a balance between the yin and yang, feminine and masculine, moon and sun, earth and water, negative and positive, head and heart, whatever you wish to call them. These two energy archetypes or principles govern creation. They are the forces of energy that create matter. And if we don't have that balance where we live and work, we cannot create wealth and abundance for ourselves. Now the good news is if you're already happy and have abundance you can definitely definitely supercharge and improve it and if we're in an environment that repels abundance and happiness and we're feeling trapped and trapped and stuck we can turn it around and you can make that place good for wealth, prosperity, money and all the good things in life. I'm going to tell you more about that in the last video of the series, but there's another totally different layer of energy that can be affecting the prosperity in your home. Now, this is a feng shui concept, but I've always found it particularly useful. And I like it as it really gives us a defined space within our home to work in. 
there are many other energy features in your home. This isn't an exhaustive list, but for the purpose of this training, we're going to be focusing on the Chinese Javantic modality of Feng Shui. If you imagine your home has different energy centres throughout it, it's important to keep those energies clear and free from blocked energy, just like the meridians or the chakras in your body. Much as we work on our own energy centres and chakras, which, whichever terminology you want to call them, geomancy works on those energy centres within your house. And in this video, we're going to concentrate on the Feng Shui areas of your home. And there are nine of those. Each represents a different area of your life. There is the prosperity and wealth area, the love and marriage area, health and well-being area, career and life journey area, personal development and growth area, new beginnings and fertility area, and the fame and reputation area. So every area of your home is a reflection of some aspect of your life. But each of these areas will either be attracting what you want in that area or repelling. So firstly, we're going to look at finding your prosperity area. So how do we find it? Geomancy is working with earth energy and consciousness. And to work effectively, we often need to know where we are in relation to the north and south poles. Because the earth is like a giant magnet and these lines go from north to south and east to west. So first, you need to have a compass. Now, don't worry if you've never taken a compass reading because technology is on hand to help you. If you have an iPhone or a smartphone, you probably have a compass app or you can download one, which give you a broad outline of where north, south, east and west are. You simply need to find the southeast area of your home. The area is enough. It doesn't have to be an exact compass area, just that area between south and east. And this is the area that you need to magnetise. And you may have several floors on your house. Each floor in the southeast is the prosperity area. Now, I don't want you to say, I don't want you to get hung up on finding the exact spot. The southeast area is enough. And don't panic if it turns out to be a cupboard or the toilet under your stairs or the stairs to your basement. <clears throat> if your wealth and prosperity does turn out to be in your toilet, it doesn't mean all your abundance is going to be flushed away because water carries energy. It carries energy into your house. It also carries energy out of your house. So just, as I say, do keep the toilet lid down and close the toilet door. And that's just a really simple way of keeping this energy in. Now, every house is unique and there are specific remedies and actions you can take in each Feng Shui area and over detrimental energy flows, which can change everything. But that's beyond the scope of what I can teach you in this workshop. But I do want to show you some steps that you can take to enhance your wealth and prosperity area with intentional additions that you can add that will make it feel good and bring in more abundance. So what can you do to attract more prosperity and more abundance into your life? After you've found the southeast area, I would recommend decluttering it because decluttering is a fundamental principle of geomancy. And this is true of all geomancy all around the world. Many of our sacred sites, ancient sacred sites built upon geomantic principles are archaeologically free of clutter. Clutter is not a good thing and never has been. And our modern lives can become very, very cluttered. So after you've found the area, declutter. There's, if it's cluttered, there's no opportunity for abundance to flow in. The area is already full of stuff. You don't want it full of stuff. You want it full of abundance. So as you go through the, this area, be really intentional about what you want to call in. So don't just say, I want more money. It's how much more money. How Have space for more. Be intentional about how many clients do you want to call in. Exactly what make and model of car, for instance, do you want? 
If it's a job, what's the salary? How many hours are you working? Is it for any particular company? Be really, really specific. The universe loves specifics. I just want you to start in that small area of your home. Now, my prosperity area in my living room, I've also got the prosperity area upstairs, and this is where my wardrobe is. And I regularly go through the hanging spaces, the shelves and the drawers to ensure I'm not holding things in there that would repel abundance. I don't have any clothes that need mending or a ripped because that reeks of scarcity and lack. Now, if it's overwhelming, those areas just start small, one little drawer, one small cupboard at a time. We can hang on to so much stuff, but does it actually serve us? Now, sentimental sentimentality can often leave us to lead us to forget the negative aspects of relationships that we've had, of family or periods of our lives, and these possessions can actually attach us to that negativity. So as you start to clear, you'll become lighter and happy and you'll start to enjoy this process. You'll start to feel your energy raised and you'll feel more optimistic about the future because you've got more space around you. What makes, which makes room for more prosperity or ideas or new things or good energy to come into your life. By clearing out your space, it doesn't mean you're going to fill it with more physical things. It just means you're leaving space for energetic things to come into your life as well. So as well as throwing out the clutter, you can add intentional things that add that signify wealth and abundance to you. So, for instance, in my wealth area, I have a lovely crystal cup glass bowl overflowing with money. Not all of it is current currency. It doesn't matter. It's just money. And my daughter and I regularly write universal bank checks for the amounts we want for specific purposes. And we put them in that area. You could have a vision board of your dream home or the dream holiday or the car that you want or the job that you want. Put in there positive affirmations of your intent. And this is a great spot from which to do your new moon goal and affirmation setting. All the things that make you feel good and represent wealth and prosperity you want to put in this area. Think big, go for it. Don't hold yourself back. You could write out a cheque for £10 million if that's what you want. It's got to be an amount that excites you. If the amount you're writing doesn't excite you, it's probably not big enough. Now, if you have no spare cash, you can use chocolate coins, you could use statues of deity or runes, sacred symbols, whatever it is that signifies wealth and prosperity, something that's meaningful to you, specific to you. When you've cleaned and tidied your wealth and prosperity area, I want you to take some time to think about your thoughts about wealth and abundance and make sure that you are consciously attracting and not unconsciously repelling wealth through your mind. Are you constantly thinking, I can't afford? You could say, I'm choosing to save or I'm on my way to becoming wealthy. How we say things programs our subconscious mind, which has an effect on the energy of abundance all around us. Remember, your house is listening and it's a co-creator in your abundance. So it hears everything you say or feel about money. By magnetising your wealth and prosperity area, you'll notice a huge shift in your life. I manifested a car within a matter of hours by working on the wealth and prosperity area in my home. A free car that someone lent me actually for a year while I was able to get back on my feet again. The universe has your back if you have faith in it. Now you might be worrying about your house being bad for money. That it's, that it's not good energetically for both your external or your internal environment. But don't worry. You don't have to move or take drastic action. Geomancy isn't difficult. It's flexible, but it is prescriptive to your environment. Now, I've talked about some of the intentional things you can do. But next time, we're going to go a bit deeper into how you can transform anywhere into a magnet for wealth, money, abundance, opportunity and all the good things in life.
Now it's so good sharing these trainings with you and I'm so passionate about geomancy. I want to make sure that you can attract everything you want in your life and that's why I've put this series together. Of course I haven't gone into the full depths and scope of geomancy because that's well beyond the scope of what I can do in these trainings but when correctly implemented there is so much more you can do with geomancy. Now I've no I have from these trainings and the units in my Facebook group Divine Feminine CEOs that you've realized it's not solely down to you whether you attract everything you want in your life. If your environment isn't set up to attract stuff, it can be blocking you from manifesting. Now I've really, really enjoyed creating these videos and it's been amazing and I've really enjoyed all the messages and the interaction that I've been getting from them. So I know that this workshop series has already made an impact in people's homes and minds and is encouraging people to live more consciously in our interaction with our energetic environment. But the most important thing to remember is that geomancy helps you harness the power of a resource that you already have where you live, your home, your garden, you can turn that into a magnet for everything that you desire. Now I've taught you the very basics on how to identify your environment's personality, whether it's attracting or repelling your desires. If you've not taken the units in my Facebook community, go and do that now. And if you're not in the group, you'll need to just join and fill in the very quick three membership questions. Each area of your life is reflected in your environment within the Feng Shui areas of your home, but also in wider and deeper ways. The total environment you live in impacts your life and your business directly. Now we've learned a few intentional steps you can take to call in abundance through the wealth and the prosperity area in your home. You'll also have one in your office on a smaller scale and if you go out to work you will have one in your southeast area. We've also learned that your environment has its own energetic blueprint, its own memories, its own history, independent of you, and it makes its own impact on the world. And I'd love to help you understand this and help you harness and transform it to create the success and abundance that you dream of. If you'd like to come further, I have put together a training programme called Abundance Energy Academy. And if you want to dive deeper into exactly how to do this, this is where I work with you and your environment to turn these energies on, to set them up, to attract whatever it is that you want. This is a hands-on course with incredible interaction and personal support from me. And yes, you get my X-ray geomancy eyes on your plans and photos of your house to guide you in specific solutions and remedies for your home. It allows you to create a customised solution so you can attract in more money, ease, flow, abundance and all the good stuff so it ultimately creates a supportive home for you and your dreams to unfold. So I'll be releasing the details of this course soon for the brand new class and registration will start soon. But before you do anything, keep an eye out for the fourth video. The doors open every seven weeks for Abundance Energy Academy. So it's all about bringing everything together that we've talked about so far, plus much, much more. We're going to clear out the clutter physically and energetically, and we're going to focus on what you truly want to call into your environment so that it can become a magnet for your desires. And I'll have all the details about my programme and how to get started in the next video. Again, keep an eye out for that video. And in the meantime, I would love to hear about the first steps that you're taking from this training and what you're doing to take to create more prosperity in your life. And also, if you've got any questions, please, please post them in my Facebook community, Divine Feminine CEOs, because I've been answering lots of questions 
and I'd like to do some more live trainings in the group. So if you can post them in the group, I do read them and I will respond to them and I'd love to hear how you're getting on. So I will see you in my Facebook community, Divine Feminine CEOs, and the fourth video on this series will be with you very soon. Have an amazing day.